Hey guys, Josh of Bain Tech. I've got Aviate. It's a brand new launcher that's out, and at this moment, it's actually just by invite only. So if you get an invite, you would enter your code here once you get to the link for the app, or you can get a reservation, and basically you plug in your email address and go from there. Uh, but you can also watch this video, it shows some different features, and that's what I'm going to do today, is just kind of show you the different features. I've already got it activated, and I've got it set up, and I'm just going to give you an overview of what it looks like. I think it's actually a phenomenal launcher. It's the best launcher besides like Nova Launcher, which I'm just used to for you know quite a few years now. But this is a totally different setup. This one kind of predicts what you want to do. Um, it sets up, it thinks for you. It's kind of like to make life simpler kind of um, thing. So first off, if you either, you can drag down and still get your notification bar, but you also have a notification bar here within the launcher. And you, this one, you got different profiles. That's the other thing too. So while I'm at home, it kind of predicts, you know, what I want to look at, whether it's weather. As you see here, I can set an alarm. It'll go to my alarm settings. And I can do do down disturb. And then it also will think of apps that you might want to use. And I've kind of sifted through those and I didn't want any of the ones that it suggested. And you can drag up to go back to your normal home screen. Um, you can also tap your home button and it brings up that same screen. Now if you swipe over to the left panel, you see your profiles. You can see home, work, going somewhere, settings. And it's got nearby and it kind of works with uh, Foursquare. If you're familiar with that app, it's like a check-in app at different locations and whatnot. But while you're on the go, it picks up that you're moving. So you're going to be able to get some traffic, home and office options up at the top, but it also brings up some like travel or navigation kind of apps, which is really cool to me. And when you actually stop at a place, you'll actually, like, let's say, for some reason this steakhouse always comes up near my house, which... I'm not even sure where it's at, to be honest with you. Newtown, different story for another time. But as you can see, you know, Starbucks pulls up, Foursquare pulls up. But what's cool about this is that you can make a post, you can check in, you can check in with Foursquare directly to it. But it also, like if in the preview video, if you check into a gym or something like that, it'll bring up like Nike Plus and, you know, workout apps like that. So just really cool stuff. Uh, the settings will go through real quick. It just kind of just shows you some of your stats. It gives you some settings for um, contacts, your settings, Play Store. I have a widget here. It's got the Google Now. You can switch between light and dark themes. I tend to like the dark theme better. The white one looks pretty cool too. Switch on back to the dark. Go to the dark side. Anyways, uh, this is my home screen anyways. I like to have the Google Now up here and then I have a picture and the way that you kind of move that around, you long press it and you can change or remove. So if you hit change, you can bring up a gallery or a drive folder or something like that or you can remove it. You also do the same for your widgets and you can remove. So let's go ahead and remove it and I'll show you what it looks like. So you can have a nice big picture there if you want to, or you can long press and add another photo, or you can add a widget. I'm going to go back and add Google Now because that's what I like on there. Another cool app to have is uh, the Dash Clock works with it too, so that's pretty cool. It's a great app if you haven't checked it out, but I'm going to add Google Now back because I just like that. And then you can change the position as well by just dragging it to where you want tap the screen and that's it. You get a basically like a dock down here and you can change those out as well. So you just long press and you can remove from favorites. You just drag it up here to remove it. And if you want to get a new app, you swipe on over. You have collections, but let's say nothing is in the collections that you want. So let's go back to the gallery because that's what I want back over here and you just drag it back where you want it. It's pretty simple, easy to use, but let's talk about the collections. The collections is really cool. You have the social tab here, work, music, going somewhere, news, and games. So it kind of sorts some apps out for you. That way it's just easy access, kind of like a folder kind of concept. But you can also add more than what you see. So here's all my social apps. 
but you're going to see the top five showing up. You can see some of the work related ones. Music. Going somewhere. News only has a couple apps, but games, if you've got a bunch of games, it'll sort it down here. So it's just really cool. You also get a settings tab to where you can add different kind of collections. You get bar, cooking, entertainment, and so forth. And so what's cool about this part is that it's alphabetical, of course, but you can go jump right to whatever letter that you want. So it makes very quick access. So that's the basic overview of this um, launcher, and if you need to get to the settings app that for the phone itself, you just tap that, just throw that in there for you in case you're wondering. But that pretty much covers the AV8 launcher. It's really cool. And I got five invites, so if you want an invite for this launcher, go ahead and send me a message in the first five to message me. We'll get the invite so you can give this launcher a try yourself. Until then, I'd appreciate you if you subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you the next video.